Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Ursula's Journey. I hope that you all are feeling amazing, doing great on this Tuesday, January the 2nd. Yes, morning. Had a restful night and rose with a leap of your spirit. This is Ursula, and I am coming in because I am on my way back to work, you all. Yes. I'm on the freeway, so I may look over back and forth. I'm not going to be looking at the camera much. But anyway, I am on my way back to work today. This is my first day back. Been off since December the 15th. Um, that was a long break. I mean, it really was a long break, and I thank God for it. And it's officially here now. Each day, you know, you stretch it, and <laughs> you're saying, okay, how many days do I have left? And I was getting my days messed up a little bit but anyway I am on my way back to work this morning our kids do not come back until Friday odd day but that's good because that'll give us opportunity to work and get some things done a little bit more so that's what my day is going to be but I just wanted to come in and jump on with you all um, quickly I stopped this morning to the service station, the Shell service station, in my neighborhood down the street that got me two, excuse me, two Fairlight protein shakes. I love the Fairlight. It doesn't upset my stomach. It has a lot of par, um, protein in it, I'm sorry. So I actually stopped and got that, two of those, and I'm gonna let one of those be my um, breakfast, and I may do it for lunch as well. I brought a turkey burger. My husband ate turkey burgers last night and as I was fixing my burger and really about to eat, I'm like, oh gosh, I should have just took a picture of this burger. But anyway, I um, brought that with me and I'm going to probably just do my shake this morning. I'm just trying to do a, a different here to work on some things with myself. So, I just wanted to come in this morning to check in to see how everybody is doing. Um, my last day, last night of being off, I was walking, watching, I'm sorry, some YouTube channels and looking at some things that people are doing and their channels, and I love it, and I love it. It's going to be so strange today. I'm not going to be able to watch anything during the daytime, but when I get home, I'll watch a few. And this will go out probably tonight as well. But I want to come in and share with you all a little bit of a word of inspiration and encouragement this morning for those that follow me on other social media platforms um may know that i have a radio show be inspired with ursula that airs tonight at 7 central 8 eastern and tonight i'm going to be sharing a little bit about my message about seeing knowing um feeling things differently and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that because I want to share a little bit about one of or two of the things with you all. The reason I want to talk about it, not so much what I wanted God, you know, placed this within my heart to share about how in life, you know, we see things differently, we feel things differently, we think differently of different things. And for the new year, many of us, um, actually go into the goal setting excuse me you all it is 20 some degrees out here this morning it is cold the ice was covered on the car so it is cold out here you see me bumping in my teeny jogging suit but anyway which is so warm and i'll show you all that when i go home this evening but anyway tonight i'm going to share a little bit about that and i just want to talk about how normally in the past i would you know put together my goals and things I want to work on business-wise and even some things, mostly that is what I would do. Not so much putting down myself, the personal development I want to see with Ursula. So for this year, I felt relieved a little bit. I know this may sound strange to some people, maybe some people say it sounds crazy, but what I'm doing is that I'm just focusing on one day at a time. Yes, I do have some things that I plan on doing. I want to continue. This is year three. I'm loading for my radio show. So, going to three, year three, this actual month, here starts the month, um, three years ago. 
So that's why I want to go ahead and do my first show myself this time. But I usually work on some things and do that, but I said, you know, I want to do more and focus more on Ursula. Excuse me, y'all, got too much on. <laughs> focus more on Ursula, her mind, body, soul, and spirit. I did that um, one year, a big time series on that. And I'll probably go back. So I put that in my Facebook community, Life's Journey with Ursula. But um, it's not rambling. But what I wanted to say was that the reason I wanted to talk about that, and God said, do it, He downloaded it in my spirit. Because in life, I turned 56 in December, and a lot of you all know I've shared that and talked about that. And turning 56 is not an old age, not at all. But I feel differently. I see things differently. I think differently. Right before that, the year, this past year, that was happening. And I've been told that I'm different. And you know, sometimes when people tell you things and say that you're different, um, some people may take it the wrong way, but God has given me so much peace to where I don't allow anything, I'm going to tell you, to disrupt my spirit or allow anything to get in it, to disrupt it. And when I was told that, I had to laugh to myself. I'm like, you know, that's good that people see that I'm different. Not that I was bad or anything on before times, but the difference is that I am taking more time with me, which means that I'm not giving myself 100% plus to others. And people have to understand that. I said, well, people are fine. They're in good health. They're okay. I need to make sure that Ursula is okay. Because Ursula has not been okay. You know, I can come on and I do my lives and I do everything and I show up for everybody. But deep down inside, I wasn't okay to a point to where I was like, okay, I need to take care of Ursula here. That's where the not being okay came into place. So I knew this was something that I need to do for myself. So seeing things differently is something that I am really noticing big time and I want to continue to notice and recognize it and I want to journal and share that journey for this year of how I started seeing things different from last year so I'll be sharing that with you all as well on this journey but seeing things differently means that I'm not a person that is bogged down or overwhelmed or feel that I have to be in a place as I said to please yes I want everybody to be okay make sure everybody's okay but I need to make sure that Ursula is okay as well I moved away from that for years and really didn't even know that I had moved away from that as a child all my life fix my camera baby light. I'm sorry about that, you all. All my life, I have been to a place where it's always been about somebody else or taking care of somebody else, being there for somebody else. And if I had to, check, had to do it again, yes, I would. But I didn't realize until one day, I think it was, I don't know, and I'm going to say probably COVID because you had to sit and you couldn't do much with COVID you was in, to where I realized this is taking a toll on my mind, body, soul, and spirit. And that's when I started doing my series on that. It took effect on me in so many ways. So I'm like, well, how am I going to make sure everybody else is okay if Ursula's not okay? And for a while, I had to see a therapist. Yes, I did. That's okay. We all need one. And she ended up being, you know, someone, a good friend of mine. I did see her for a while because I didn't realize it was like, oh, my gosh, you know, it was too much going on to where I couldn't it was overwhelming me I was taking things fine doing things fine but it was overwhelming me so I see things differently now which means that I need to make sure not only to 
see and look at others to see how they're doing, but flip that mirror around, self-reflection, and see how Ursula's doing. Now, when it comes to knowing, now I know what I need to do for myself. And not 100% that I know, but I learn each day of saying, this is what I need to do for Ursula. Ursula needs to make sure she needs to really focus on the fact that, you know, yes, she's getting older, not focus in a negative way or a hardcore way, but focus she's getting older. Um, she needs to take care of herself more. Um, Health-wise, do these things. Um, Mind-wise, that's important. Extra, extra. Yes, I know I need to do these things. And knowing that I need to do these things is going to help me along the way on my journey into other things that God, you know, he's placed me on this journey. There are things he wants me to do. And my thing is that I, I've got to please him. He's the one I need to be pleased always. And he is the one that I am pleasing always. And I had to remind myself and say, you know, Ursula, you don't need to be trying to always make sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that, but I need to make sure in knowing that I need to please him. I know I've got to take care of me and please myself as well. I'm always pleasing others, take care of others, but I've got to please and make sure the main person. That's just a reminder because I know that. So, you know, seeing things differently, knowing things differently, and thinking, thinking, my thought process is amazing to me sometimes. And the reason I say that is because on this journey, and I always talk about life's journey, I have a Facebook community called Life's Journey with Ursula. Always talk about the journeys of life. And I must think differently in so many capacities of everything and I knew that I need to do that and I've started big time I didn't realize even around the house things I do in the house um, even when I'm doing anything and I want to use a house as an example as it relates to purchasing stuff and thrifting and all of that I'm particular about feeling that I have to have so much decorating knickknack things in the house and God downloaded that and gave me that early let me turn some heat on Lord Jesus my hands are cold he gave me that early and I thank him for that he gave me that early and I don't feel that I have to have all of this I don't feel that I have to have the luxuries of all of this or feel that I have to, and this hasn't been me now, I'm just saying, I thank God he showed me this way ahead of time early, that I've got, I have to have the, the brand new car all the time in the driveway, or have to be out in the malls shopping or doing a lot of shopping, um, feeling I have to impress or do anything. This is something that I know, and God placed that in me all my life, that's been there, but... I want to make sure that I'm aware and know that this is not what my life's supposed to be anyway. I like nice things. Yes, I do because I work hard. You know, my husband and I, we want nice things. We make sure we have nice things because my mom always taught when you walk in your home or whatever, you want to see what you're working for. But what I'm saying is that I'm not out here overwhelming myself feeling I have to have stuff know stuff is not that deep and the more I watch YouTube <laughs> and I'm watching people with their van life and people the um, the um, actual RV lives the banks people that are doing that I'm looking and I'm like exactly we don't have to have so much stuff and have to have all this because when I when I feel that I have to have all of this it takes away from actually seeing the beauty of life seeing things in a different way thinking things in a different way because now I'm in a mode of wanting to travel more 
So I can't travel and, and do all these things and see the beauty that God has out there for me when I'm actually accumulating and, and doing that to myself. So knowing is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And I thank God that he downloaded this in me, you know, downloaded it as it relates to the seeing and the thinking and the knowing differently so I could see the different phases and the beauty and, and the life and the journey that he wants me to be on. And that's what's so beautiful about it. And God has, thank you, Lord, he's gave me, a, he's given me a download about it too, about something else I need to do to share. So tonight, I'll be talking about that on my show. But today, on my way to work, I said, I want to share this because somebody out there right now is going through something. Somebody out there is experiencing something. Somebody out there is, is just having a moment where they can't understand their journey. They can't figure out their journey. They're on their journey, and it's a dark journey. Their journey is rocky. Their journey is, oh, excuse me, y'all, my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a lot on. I made sure I could put a lot on under this. But ooh, my back itch. But anyway, wanted to make sure that people know that, you know, life is a journey. But let's make sure that we are connecting the dots and plotting the things um, on that journey and creating a path that we want to walk down. I love the path that I'm walking down, the path of peace, the path of love, the path of serenity, the path of unity. I thank God for everything that I do, my show, my social media platforms, this. There's going to be some inspiration on there. I'm going to share with you what God has placed within me, and I thank Him for it. It is a beautiful thing. And even driving to work this morning, I'm looking at the trees, and hadn't been out here this route since the 15th and the thing is that I'm looking at the trees and the greenery is coming back to it is winter but they're green trees and I love to talk about the seasons and the changes and that goes into my seeing that goes into my knowing that goes into my thinking you know and when I'm driving I'm just not driving I'm looking at God's beauty I'm looking at my journey on this road of what he's placed before me. I always tease and say I never thought that woods could be something of serenity for me. If you follow me on my Facebook page, Ursula Master Bradley, when I post and do things, sometimes I put a lot of nature pictures. It's beautiful. I always tease about I never thought leaves in my yard was going to be something beautiful one day. I would say, oh my, here come the leaves. They're falling. Who's got to rake them? We got to do mm -mm. Right now, I see it as it's beauty. It's God's beauty. It's serenity. So, this is how I see things. And this is how I've been seeing things. And I've been sharing this for some years. But now I have the opportunity to come forward to actually share this with you all. And I'm grateful and I thank God for the opportunity that I can share this on another social media platform. Ursula's Journey. So, let's just remember on today... As you step out into the world, look around. Look around when you step out your door. First of all, just look. Just stop for a moment. That's what we do with the step out and take a moment and look around and observe. And pay attention to what God has out there for us. Beauty is all around us, you all. It's all around us. It's up in the sky. The sky this morning is a very light, soft blue. I mean, barely. They said we're making some snow. I don't know. Very, barely a blue. Also, it's the sun is shining bright. It's cold. The leaves were on the ground. When I took cash out this morning, they were crispy. Dew on the ground. The crystal lights were on the ground of dew. The uh, frost was on the window. All of this was out there and I observed this morning. As I'm driving and I'm talking to you all, I'm looking at what he's doing out here. It's beautiful. Let's just make sure that we look at God's beauty and observe. Let's make sure that we're seeing what he's doing each day. Let's observe and say, okay, Lord, and say, I know what you're doing. Yes, 
and let's think about what's going on and feeling what's the other one. I just want to say that all of this creates a beauty and a mixture of great feelings within your mind, body, soul, and spirit. So just remember as you go out on your journey today, I guess y'all see she's still driving. My drive is a little bit. <laughs> yes. That's why I was like, when I totaled down here and ended down and my drive was through for the holiday, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm about a 35, 40 minute drive, but it gives me that time to talk to God and just be at peace. So just remember the journey that you're on is just not a journey of roadblocks. There are signs on that journey. There are stop signs. There are caution signs. There are yield signs. There are even U-turn signs. And sometimes we take a U-turn to go back. But let's be aware of whatever we go through in life. Just remember that the journey had signs there for you. For you to be aware. And if your journey this morning, if your road this morning is dark, just remember there is a bright side. I just want you all to continue to stay encouraged, be encouraged, and remember that all things are possible. Yes, seeing, knowing, thinking, and feeling is an important part of our life. So, thank you all for coming back. For those that actually have been on my channel watching, thank you for coming back in. If you're new, thank you for coming in as well. Also, please click the like button, click the subscribe button. And also share. And there's a little bell there. A little bell. I want you to click that bell, the notification bell, because I want you all to please go in and click that so you can know when I'm coming with my videos. So on my journey in the morning, I will be sharing some messages of inspiration and encouragement for you all. This message is for somebody. Somebody needed this this morning. And I know that. You all be blessed. You all be safe. You all have a great day. If you're out there in the cold where I am, and I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama, wherever you are, if it's freezing cold, just be safe. Let's continue to uplift each other, pray for one another, and remember that I love you all. Bye-bye now. I'm almost there. Thank you a lot.